Hey, everybody. Welcome back to our online recreational events with POAC Autism Services. My name is Brittany. Thank you so much to those of you that have been sticking with us watching all of these amazing recreational events for the past three months that really flew by between Storytown and Mr. Gary, a virtual yoga with Miss Jennifer from Jenny Zen Yoga, our music classes with Mr. Jim. Mr. Scott, the music man, thank you so much. We couldn't done it, have done this without your support. And just to let you know, there is an additional event to our walkathons. We're having a drive-by event. So the same day as our walk, Sunday, July 19th, is a drive-by event. If you're a walk team captain, come on down. Decorate your cars for POAC. Honk the horn if you love POAC. We're going to have DJs, uh, characters, uh a balloon artist that does wacky balloon creatures for you guys. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to adhere to all the social distancing protocols. We're going to be very, very safe. We would just love to have you. It's just another way to support POAC. Um, if you missed any of our events, you know, on social media, it's all on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at POAC Autism Services. We look forward to seeing you at our future events. And we love you guys so, so much. So let's get to the final yoga class of our online <laughs> recreational event with Miss Jennifer. Take it away. Thanks, Brittany. Hi, everybody. I'm so sad it's our last week online, but I wanted to thank everyone for a great three months. You all helped me get through all of these craziness, new things that we've had to do. You made me have something really great to look forward to every week, and I love spending my time with all of you and bringing this yoga to you and to my friend my new friends who have shown up and i've met through um being online to my friends who come to my yoga classes when we had them outside and now we're coming back online i see haley signed in great to see you and i miss you but let's get started we know what we need to do comfortable see belly in Spine straight, top of the head to the ceiling, hands resting down, palms up, yoga fancy, shoulders down. Let's feel our breath come in through our nose and out of our nose. Big inhale through your nose and out of your nose. One more time, big inhale and exhale and feel free to keep your eyes closed keep on breathing i'm just going to babble for another moment but the past couple of weeks we've been using some ocean themes to guide our yoga practice and just giving some new names to some poses that we've done before but making them a little bit fun thinking about getting ready for summer and we're now in summer so we're going to wrap up today with a new yoga pose um, go over some of our other ones that we use from under the sea and then settle down and really finally be ready for summer. Hi, Adrian. See that you came in too. So again, we're going to take that deep inhale and exhale. Now coming into our ocean breath, big inhale through our nose, exhale through that closed mouth. So you might be able to hear it. Take an inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And again, some people think that that breath sounds like waves. Some people say that it sounds like Darth Vader. Whatever you want to call it is fine for me. Let's do three more ocean breaths. Last one. I feel nice and relaxed now. Coming into our puffer fish breath, you're going to have big puffy cheeks on that exhale. You might, your lips might vibrate. You might make a little sound. So big inhale and puff it out. Inhale, puffer fish breath out.
Last one. So that was a really long one. And as you start to get relaxed, you might find that your breaths get a little bit longer, a longer inhale and a longer exhale. Switch your legs if you'd like to. Coming into our flexibilities, big inhale up, exhale, twist to one side. Big inhale up, exhale, twist to the other side. Big inhale up, hands down on the floor. Take a big inhale again. Exhale, lower that head. Inhale, slowly roll up, head comes up last. Now we're going to twist our legs and our belly. So one leg over the other. We want to make sure that the knees are in line. You can see my knees are kind of on top of each other, not so much. You might need your legs back. You might need your legs forward. You might take a pillow from somewhere in your room, stick it under the tops of your legs. Let's do a big inhale and exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, hands down. Big inhale, exhale, drop that head. Big inhale up, head comes up last. Feet are out straight, hands are out straight. Fingers and toes up, inhale. Point everything down, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Switching our legs. So have your other leg on top. It should feel a little weird. One leg, it might be a little bit different. That's okay. And remember, you can always keep that lower leg out if that twist is too much, if it's pulling too much on the sides of your legs. Back is really tall. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale, exhale those hands down. Big inhale, exhale, drop that head. Inhale, slowly roll up, head comes up last. Legs out again, fingers pointing up, wrist and ankle circles. It could go in the same direction, opposites, freeze, and just switch the way you were going. Okay, come to your comfortable seat again. Back is straight. Take a deep, shoulders are down, hands are resting, big inhale through your nose. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale up, exhale, chin to ceiling. Inhale back to center, exhale, look to one side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, look to the other side. Inhale back to center. Ear down towards your shoulder. If you'd like to use that arm and rest it on the ear that's up in the air. A little bit more stretch, but you don't have to do that. Inhale back up. Exhale. Other side. Use that hand if you'd like. Inhale back up to center. So let's work on our jaw, feeling along our jaw, and maybe you feel it shift back and forth. See if you could do it without your hands. Big smile. Fishy face. Big smile. Fishy face. Last time, big smile, fishy face. Sitting up really tall again, big inhale, exhale forward. We're coming into our torso rolls. So coming around to either side, inhale as you come back, exhale as you come forward. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale one more time. Inhale. Exhale and freeze. Switch directions. Inhale. Exhale. Going back. Going forward. Feel your breath. And one more time. When you get all the way forward, freeze. Drop your head. Slowly roll up. Head comes up last. Big inhale. One arm up. Reaching to the opposite side. Inhale. Both hands up. Drop down one arm. Inhale. Other side. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, arms out to the sides. Inhale, fingertips to the shoulders. And we're going to do our shoulder circles. With our elbows going forward. Freeze. Elbows need to come back. Pay attention to your shoulder. Freeze. Arms out, palms down. Let's do some small arm circles coming forward. Freeze. Arm circles going back. Freeze. Arms down. Halfway. Don't touch the floor. Arm circles forward again. Stop. Arm circles going back. And stop. Let's swing around. We're going to come up onto our toe, our toes, our feet, and come way, way back. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. And we're going to do a couple of moves from standing up. So first one we're gonna do is our chair twist. So remember that we want to have our bellies in, our feet are parallel, they're not touching each other, but they're not wide apart. And we're going to put, bring our hands to our heart center. And we're going to sit back almost like we're sitting in a chair. Knees, we can still see our toes in front of us. Let's take a deep inhale and exhale, twist to one side. While we're sit, almost sitting in our chair, come back to the center, twist to the other side. Come back to center. Let's stay here for another moment. It's good for our legs. This helps make our legs nice and strong. And let's stand up. Arms out to the side. Our feet can be a little bit wider apart. And just twist to one side. Back to center. Twist to the other side. Back to center. Bring your feet wide apart. We're going into our windmill twist. So we're going to take one hand, bring it to the opposite foot, and the hand that's up in the ceiling, you can have it up. You can have it just rest on your back if you'd like. And we're looking at the side that we're twisted to, coming all the way back up. Like almost like we're making like a letter X, but our arms are down. Other hand to foot, looking to that side. Coming back up. It's a big twist, I know. One more time, our windmill. Coming back up. And last time. And coming back up. So from here, we are going to go into, I forget which one we're gonna do, our jellyfish. So let's bring our feet closer back in. Our hands are at our hips. We're going to hinge forward so our back is flat, drop our arms down, and then lower our head. Remember, for our jellyfish pose, we waved our arms around and come to stillness. Let's wave our arms around again and come to stillness. Slowly roll up. Heads coming up last. Let's sit down on our bottoms for our boat pose. 
Remember with our boat pose, we had three variations. Maybe you've worked up to a different one. Maybe you're still doing the same one we did our first week. It's all good. First part of boat pose, feet are on the floor, arms are at facing forward, shoulders are down. We're leaning back, we're on our sacrum, and we feel our belly muscles working. Boat pose one, boat pose two, same spot, lift your feet. Boat pose three, here's the challenging one. Straighten those legs, look at your toes, wiggle your toes. Come back up, hug your knees. So I'll go through all three parts, but if you'd like to stay in one of those boat poses, feel free. And if you try a new one and it's not working for you, go back to another one. But again, feet on the floor, boat pose one. Shoulders down, breathe, feel your belly. If you'd like to change, boat pose two. Feel your breath, don't hold it. And boat pose three. And come back up, hug those knees in. Coming into our crab pose. We're going to, this is our reverse tabletop. So our feet are planted on the floor, our hands are behind us, fingers need to face our bottom, and we're pushing in, looking in the ceiling, lifting those hips. So I look like a table. And that's our crab pose. Hug those knees in. We're going to do it one more time. If you'd like to try to scooch back and forth and walk like a crab, you can do that. If you'd like to just stay in that crab pose, that's fine. Hands are behind you. Push into your feet and your hands. And maybe you're walking side to side. Maybe you're just breathing. And we're going to lower. Hug those knees in. So now coming into our dolphin pose. Dolphin pose, we had two variations. First variation, you could be on your hands and knees. All variations, both of them, we're going to lower onto our forearms and lower our head. So this is one variation. To get into the full dolphin pose, you can start here, curl your toes under, and lift your leg. Lift your bottom, straighten your leg. That's how we can get into dolphin pose. Another way we can get into dolphin pose is starting in our tabletop, curl those toes under, hips to the ceiling, bottom up, and then lowering onto our forearm. So, you have three things to decide. Number one, are you staying on your knees or are your legs going to be straight? Number two, if your legs are going to be straight, how are you going to get there? Are you going to get there from your knees and just straighten your legs or are you going to go into your down dog and then lower your hand? However you want to do it is fine by me. We're going to be safe. We're going to breathe. And if, remember, when something really hurts, we're not doing it. Stretching is good. Sharp pains are not good. Okay, but everybody starts in tabletop no matter what we do. Fingers are spread. And if you'd like to, lower down on your forearms, head down. You can stay here. Curl your toes under and straighten. And if you wanted to do it from down dog, down dog arms down. We're going to take three deep breaths no matter how you got here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Two. And exhale. One more. Three. Exhale through your nose. Lower those knees down. Uncurl your toes. Let's sit back. Lower our head. Build up your fists. Let's come into three members this pose. Child's pose. Let your breath settle. If you'd like to bring your arms back, you can. If you want your arms to fly in the air, you can. Take three breaths on your own there. Big inhale and exhale. And 
And after your last exhale, stretch out, stretch your arms out. We're going to go into our angel fish pose, which is like our bow pose. So same hand and leg. One arm's out, you push into that hand. We look forward, we're trying to reach back for that foot. You may or may not reach it. Stretch out again, other foot, same side hand, push, look forward. Now, we're gonna do both at the same time. You may not be able to get your ankles this time when you have both of them up, it's okay. We're still working on this. So we're looking forward, our arms come back, we lift our chest. Maybe lift your knees up a little bit. And stretch out. Big inhale, sigh it out of your mouth. One more time. Both knee, feet up, arms back, lift the chest, lift the knees. And stretch out. Big inhale, big exhale. Our last new pose from our Commotion in the Ocean by Gilles Andre is the shark pose we are going to do. So for the shark, I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. And I love this picture. It might be hard to see, but all of these little starfish are trying to get away from that shark. So it's cute. So for our shark pose, it's similar to bow, except our back legs stay down. So we're going to start with our forehead down. We're going to reach our arms back. See if you can touch your hands. With your chin on the floor, can you grab your hands behind you? And if you can't, that's okay. Just have them separate. And let's take a deep inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, can you lift your chest up? Push your arms back behind you. You might, if you feel a little pain in your back, lower down a little bit. One breath, exhale. Two, and let's rest our head. On our next shark, we're gonna do one more. Try to open your mouth really wide like you're going to go grab some fish. Or maybe you're gonna go grab some seaweed if you're a vegetarian and you don't wanna eat fish. Okay, arms behind you, forehead down. Grab those hands. Big inhale, sigh it out. Big inhale up. And my big shark mouth open. And rest down, nice. Let's push up. Let's sit on our bottom. Legs out in front of us, spine is straight. Staff pose, hands are just hanging out. Coming into our caterpillar, forward fold, deep inhale. Walk those hands forward. Back is still in a straight line. I did not drop my head yet. Inhale and exhale, drop that head. Slowly roll up, head comes up last. Let's cross our legs again. Inhale and exhale our hands to our heart center. Don't be fooled, we are not done yet. And just a gentle twist to one side. Try to keep those elbows out and your hand at your heart center. Come back to center, other side. Come back to center. We're going to come back almost like we're setting up for boat pose. Feet are on the floor. We're going to lay ourselves all the way down with control, nice and slow. Big stretch. Point your toes, hands overhead. Hug your knees into your chest. Some people like to rock out on that lower back. It feels really good. So for our twist, laying on our back, shoulders are down. We're looking at the ceiling. Arms can be down or on our bellies. 
and both knees to one side. They don't have to stay together. Feel those breaths. Inhale, both knees back in. Exhale, both knees to the other side. Shoulders are still up, both on the floor. Look at the ceiling. Let's hug our knees back in. Straighten our legs out. Hands are down by our sides. And we're going to come into our wave breathing. So remember on our inhale through our nose, our arms come up overhead. And on our exhale, they come down to our sides. And we're looking at the ceiling. Eyes could be open or closed. Big inhale through your nose, arms up. And exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Let your feet flop open. Bring your palms up or let them rest on your belly. We're going to come into our last guided reading. So, Again, you can think about what I'm talking about in your head. We're going to try to be quiet. And if you don't wanna listen, just listen to your breath. Maybe do your ocean breathing. But I'm going to read about summertime. So let's take a deep inhale through our nose. Puff or fish that breath out. We're on our backs. Summertime. The sun is bright and hot, and you are at the beach. You have a colorful raft to float on. Think about the color of your raft in your head. Take a deep breath in, and then blow out. Puffer fish breath, filling the raft with air. Take another deep breath in, and then blow out again, making that raft bigger. Then take one more deep breath and then blow out, filling the raft. You are very hot and feel like going for a swim. You slowly go out into the cool, calm water with your raft. Holding onto your raft, load in the water and look at all you can see from here. Maybe we can see crabs along the shore dolphins, angelfish. Maybe sharks are very far away. They're not gonna come bother us. Maybe we see birds, we see the waves. Maybe we hear seagulls. Maybe we feel a cool breeze. So smile to yourself. Actually, let's climb onto our raft. We're gonna float calmly in the water. It's really shallow. We're gonna feel the breeze on our face. Smile to yourself. And keep on breathing. We're getting ready for our quiet time. So on your inhale, I am. And on your exhale, ready for summer. Inhale, I am, and exhale, ready for summer. I am, ready for summer. I am, ready for summer. I'm gonna go quiet for a moment. Try to either think about being ready for summer, or think about your breath.
One last breath, big inhale. Exhale. Bring yourself back into your room. Take a big stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll over onto one side. Bring yourself up to a sitting position. If you want to keep your eyes closed, you can. Shoulders down. Back is straight and tall. Let's inhale and exhale our hands to our heart center. And before we finish, I just want to thank all of you for letting me be a part of the POAC family. I've had a great, I've been doing with you guys for now almost two years. I'm so happy to be with all of you. I miss seeing all my friends in person and I hope that we can see you too. And I love all of you guys. So thank you so much. It's been a great three months. And like I said, you guys helped me as much as I hope I helped you just get a little peace during this time. So I hope to see your walk pictures. Maybe I'll see you at the drive through. That would be awesome at Blue Claw Stadium. But remember, everything is on July 19th. And I hope to see you all pretty soon in the near future. So remember, before we finish, we're going to finish with our special word of namaste. Namaste meaning the special light in me, sees and honors the special light in you. And remember, we are all very, very special. So thank you, everybody, for joining me for our POAC family yoga. And I hope to see you soon in real life. Please take care of yourselves. Love all of you. And namaste.